All right, what's going on guys? Jordan Criddle here. I am back with day three of Vlogmas. Told you I was gonna do it and I'm trying to stay on track. So um, yeah, day three. And today is actually Monday. Most of the footage that you're gonna see in this vlog is from yesterday. But yesterday evening, after we got done doing everything with Sierra's family, which you will see, we ended up just chilling. It was my first Sunday in a while that I haven't worked because, you know, we've been working on Aaron's project. You know, I just wanted to give that time to Sierra, so I didn't vlog anything, but I had this, I wanted, this is something I've been thinking about and I wanted to discuss with you, so I wanted to throw it in this vlog. That is just discussing with you what's the most challenging aspect of mixing um, to me. So, you know, I get a lot of questions about plugins and I do, you know, plugin reviews or, gear uh whatever you know y just yesterday i was talking about a new plugin that i bought and how it's making life easier for me but the most challenging aspect to me is just being too technical back whenever i was an artist you know i approached music from a purely creative standpoint and just in life in general like i'm kind of weird like i see letters and numbers and colors or shades every sound has a color or shade to it to me you know so when i hear a song i instantly like think of a color whenever i hear it it's pretty weird but like i feel like i feel like just because of that you know naturally a lot of times I'm thinking more creatively, but for some reason when it comes to mixing, you know, I get really, really technical. And in my opinion, you could, you, you may disagree, but in my opinion, I feel like if you take a, just a purely technical person who, you know, knows about mixing versus a purely creative person who may not know the technical side of mixing but you set them both down and had them mix a record again you may disagree but i almost feel like the creative person is going to come out with a better mix just because you know they're both going to be turning knobs and you know faders and stuff like that but the technical person is going to be thinking numbers and you know they're they're almost putting themselves in this boundary oh i can't do 20 to 1 ratio you know compression on a vocal or I can't do this I can't do that because um, it's just not right that's not technically correct whereas a, a creative person is just gonna be there they may not have any clue of what they're doing but they're gonna be turning knobs and riding faders and stuff and to them it's just gonna be like does it sound good or not and they're just gonna keep turning stuff until it sounds good. That's just that's just my opinion. And I feel like whenever you're first learning how to mix, you spend a lot of time going, you know, to YouTube, Gear Sludge, just searching Google, whatever. And the creative side of mixing is something that can't be taught, you know, through a video or you know, that's all just instincts. Whereas when you're searching and trying to learn how to mix, it's all technical. And I just wanted to share that with you because I want you to also, you know, try to be conscious of getting out of being super technical, you know, obviously deliver what the client wants, but stop being so technical. And I'm speaking to myself, stop being so technical, but you know, get creative with it too. So just wanted to share that with you guys. That's like my biggest challenge as a mix engineer. Definitely comment below and let me know what your challenges are. I'm going to jump back to yesterday and show you guys what we went through yesterday. And I hope you dig it. I'll catch you in another vlog tomorrow. All right, so just got home from church not that long ago and started watching the Chiefs game. It is 7-7 right now. And um, yeah, I had to pause it and record it. I'm actually about to leave. I've told Sierra at the start of the season on Sundays during the hours of the Chiefs game, don't schedule anything for me. And it always seems to happen. We gotta go take more family pictures with her whole side of the family. And then she didn't like any of the pictures from the other night. So we're gonna reattempt our Christmas card pictures. Wonder, 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 wonder.
just out here with my brother, Jared. Taking Hi, pictures of us. What you gotta say, boy? Mm -hmm. <laughs> gotta see his whole family out here. It's a cool location. Try not to freeze to death. <laughs> 